I think when you come into this little corner of Brussels Square, so as you immediately get this feeling that there's something unusual going on. Whether it's the people sitting out in front, or whether it's the lines waiting for the uh, free meal at lunchtime, or you know, in the evenings there's this kind of pulse coming out of the building. Um, there's something always going on. SOAS has probably made me more critical about pretty much everything. It's given me so much more of an international focus. It's helped me ground a lot of my idealism and make it more of a realistic possibility. People have different cultures, have different norms, different values, and it's opened my mind and thoughts about that as well. People from all over the world come and study here. And in conversation with different people, I've realised so much about myself and also about the world I live in. Overall, it's given me confidence in who I am and in what I believe in. SOAS became this huge gateway to places I'd never thought I'd be part of. As students leave SOAS, as they graduate, as they stand on the threshold of going out into the world as more informed and more able citizens than before, I think the SOAS experience is one of those things that make this crossing of the threshold something which is doable and above all, enjoyable. The range of things that you can do outside of your studies. Um, last year I went to Ghana with the radio station. Kuma ina son waka a Soas World Music Choir. It's a really nice environment to uh, express your interest and your passion for your discipline. And so it's really, really diverse and not always just focused on the West. I remember wearing that silly hat. I remember wearing a suit which was too big for me. I remember my dad feeling very awkward, but I remember it with an immense amount of fondness. It was really exciting to see everybody again after a, a few months. And we all knew that we looked slightly ridiculous, but we all felt, for some reason, totally at home. It was also a bit of a sad feeling, of course, because, um, you know, as life goes on, people can drift apart, uh, but the connections you make there will always remain. inside of the library. The constant barrage of new and interesting information. My year abroad in Beijing. I'd like to say all the cases and facts and case law that I've learned, but really it's going to be the people that I've met. I think I'll just remember the people. Mostly the people I've met. The people. I'll say the people. To fulfil all the cliches, the people as well. Seeing the same familiar faces and you're together on this journey. You always have an affinity with other SOAS alumni. If you meet them wherever it is, around here or elsewhere in the world, you kind of, you just like get it. Our students have gone on to great things as presidents, prime ministers, ministers, but also community, public intellectuals, figures of authority and respect and learning who bring to their idealism an informed consciousness of what the world, not only locally, but internationally is really like. Ten years. Thing. To be a teacher. I'd like to be working or living abroad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to go back to Indonesia and work there and be near to my family and friends. So whether it's doing voluntary work or being involved in social work, I really want to just give back and help those who are less fortunate than I am. I'd love to live in Senegal. The great thing about SOAS is you could go anywhere because it does open so many doors in every different continent. My message to those graduating today would be that the world is a very big place, so get out there and try and see as much of it as you can. SOAS provides you with unique qualities, unlike anywhere else. It makes you feel different. It makes you want to travel. It makes you want to explore and discover um, the rest of the world. But most of all, I think it gives you a moral compass and it gives you um, a set of principles which shape you for the rest of your life. Just make sure you stay in contact, like join the alumni, get involved, Come back and visit.